Today we're running the Storm 215C. It's a MIG stick plasma combo. We've got a 40 amp plasma max rated, a half inch thick clean cut. So we've got some half inch plate on the table. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a little bit cleaner pierce on thick plate like this. So when you've got thick plate and you're trying to pierce a hole right in the center of it, not from a clean edge, it'll throw junk all over the place, you know, throw sparks up on you, mess up your tip. So we're gonna do one like that and then I'm gonna show you a little trick I use to punch some cleaner holes uh, out in the middle of a thick piece of plate. All right, so we've got two one inch holes drawn out here on our half inch thick plate. So we're gonna go ahead and try to pierce this hole, you know, like maybe we're putting a, a piece of tubing through it for a mount or something like that. So half inch plate, one inch hole. So typically what someone's gonna do is bring the torch down. I've got the little nice standoff guides. You're just gonna pull the trigger and just wait for this thing to blow through. So you're gonna throw sparks and all kinds of slag all over your shop. So let's burn one like this and I'll show you my little trick. So this is one of the common issues when you try to pierce a hole like this. Now that little slag does just kind of flake off, but that can burn up your tip pretty quickly. So when I'm piercing a hole through thick plate like this, what I like to do, Take a center punch, knock me a little hole or a little center punch spot. Take a quarter inch drill bit, and we're not gonna drill all the way through. I'm not trying to drill all the way through this half inch plate. I just wanna start the hole about halfway down or so. So we'll go ahead and drill a little bit of a starter hole. And what this will allow is our arc to start deeper in the plate. We'll get a cleaner pierce and it won't throw nearly as much shrapnel out at us. There we go, that's good enough. All right, so now we have our hole drilled uh, about halfway through this plate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start my arc directly over that hole. It's gonna punch through a lot faster, a lot cleaner. I'm not gonna get so much stuff all over the shop or mess up my tip. It took me an extra 30 seconds. Well worth it in my opinion. All right, so here we've got our two finished holes. This first one here, we didn't drill the, uh, the, the pilot hole and the second one we, we did drill a pilot hole. So you can see the side by side of how much better the start was on that second hole. Now, of course, that doesn't change, you know, how you cut the hole or, you know, how clean the cut is, but you can see on this half inch plate, we got a real nice clean cut in here. Now, the Storm 215C 40 amp plasma is only rated to pierce 5 16ths maximum. We just did 8 16ths, half inch plate. So you saw that first start was a little rough, which is why we don't rate it to pierce half inch. My little cheater trick though, you can see it pierced half inch pretty well. So you can kind of cheat your plasma cutter a little bit. Now that doesn't change how well you cut the hole, but it does really help out on those half inch starts. All right, so now that we've shown that we've actually underrated this machine a little bit on that 5 16 pierce when we just did a half inch, we only rate this machine at a 5 8 severance. So I wanna take, cut us a little square out of here, weld it to itself. I wanna see if we can push it to one inch. So we're gonna cut some more plate, weld it to itself, see if we can get that one inch severance cut. So as we're doing this guys, I want you to notice I'm running the same machine. We're still on the Storm 215C, switching my, my plasma leads over to the MIG side, welding up this half inch plate to itself real quick, switch the leads back over to plasma. What do we do? Maybe three, four minutes real time. And now we're gonna try to do this uh, severance cut on one inch thick material. Dude, it did it. All right, so we just got done testing this thing. We did a one inch severance cut. You saw it blew right through it. We only rate this machine to do a max of five eighths severance. Um, and actually you can see in the little spit up video, it actually welded this half inch plate pretty well using 030 wire. Now it was turned up, but it welded half inch plate. And even more impressive on this cut, we ran it off this little job site, three and a half gallon rigid air compressor that's 15 years old. So we saw the little, uh, the little trick for piercing um, thick plate. Again, we were, we were over the maximum rated thickness. So I, as a, 
you know, Everlast welder. I'm kind of surprised we underrate this machine as much as we do. We saw that half inch thick pierce, saw my little trick for piercing a thicker plate, making it easier on the machine. And we also did some half inch welding with a one inch severance. So Storm 215C, uh, it's, it's a hell of a little machine for the package it's in. So if you guys are looking for a handy little unit, you need a plasma cutter, check out the Storm 215C MIG, stick, plasma. Weld mean, weld green.